report the news that nobody has the balls to report. Why am I the only one breaking stories like this? Stop saying them, but I'm not. I'm never gonna stop. Now, these are the kind of stories, guys, that must be told. I'm just a guy who's breaking stories and reporting news from my basement. Yo, what's up, Total Riders? How's everybody doing out tonight? Good, good, great. Hold on one sec. I gotta get get this freaking audio. Hold on. I got the wrong timeout. Be right back. Hold on. I should have done this before. Hold on. Okay. I think we got it now. One sec. We will change our mic settings. Okay, camera settings go with audio. Audio settings. Oh, yeah, that one's much crisper. Okay, cool. What's up, Turtle Riders? How's everybody doing tonight? Good, good, excellent. Welcome to the Turtle Boy Live Show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Uncle Turtle Boy. I've gone ahead and I'll share the links to this live stream on the various social media pages we're running. Uh, Clarence Woods Emerson, my personal account. Uh, the Turtle Boy Daily News page, which I believe... Might have just passed 29,000 turtle riders on there and the Uncle Turtle Boy page. I, all, all things considered, when you add all three of those up, I did it the other day. It's like almost 80,000 turtle riders on there. So we're getting close to 100,000. That's the way I look at it. We might not get a singular page to 100,000 again like we used to, but uh, you know, here we are now. And I do need to get a new chair. You're right about that. You, I do need to get a new chair. This is Wednesday. Uh, we have the live show this week is staggered. It's on different days. Usually we do Tuesday and Saturday with Turtle Club on Thursday. And I would encourage you guys to join Turtle Club because A, a you get ad free on the website. You get the extra stream. You get a free t-shirt. But most importantly, you're supporting what we do. And you're making it so that, uh, you know, you're making it so that you don't have to like, hold on, I'm getting text messages and stuff. Okay, uh, you're making it so that you don't have to like depend on advertising or anything like that. We don't have to worry about any of that crap. Basically, you're supporting what we do. The blog becomes self-sufficient, and when you're not dependent on advertisers, it is a uh, it's a good thing because you can say whatever you want. So it's only fifteen dollars a month. The, the the link is in the bio. You can uh, the description or whatever. You can join that way. We do it on Thursday nights normally. However, this week with the Celtics going every other night at 8 30 we have to stagger them so we're doing wednesday friday turtle club and then sunday night another game okay so anyway um all right cool all right so we got everyone here cool so i went ahead and i shared it on those pages so you can go go ahead and do the same my twitter account is at dr turtle boy that's d-o-c-t-o-r turtle boy because if Jill Biden is a doctor, then I'm definitely a doctor. You can also follow me at Turtle Boy Phone. I cannot log into the Dr. Turtle Boy account on my phone or else it will get shut down. Long story. So go ahead and follow that. But most importantly, smash that subscribe button because we are here, like I said, every normally Tuesday and Saturday night at 9 p.m. And hit the notification bell so you are notified every time we go live. Oakley Doakley. So we got Deb backstage. How you doing, Deb? Producer Deb? Doing good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, hit that thumbs up, guys, for me, too. Let's get some peeps in here. Let's get over a hundo. I see a climbing. People are starting to come in here. Hit that thumbs up after the show's over. Leave a comment in the algorithms. Uh, or leave a comment because I heard it helps the algos. Uh, so hook us up that way. That'd be great. That'd be cool. All right. Um, I think you're, break, I'm you're breaking up a little bit. When Am I breaking up? Just a little. Okay. You were okay. Um, yeah, you're, you're good Maybe now. when I'm leaning on the thing. Yeah, I, I think you were too, like, yeah. Okay, dokely. So, yeah, the Celtics last night didn't go as planned. What a disastrous third quarter. We actually outscored them by, 
Um, I think we, we outscored them by 14 points in the first, second, and fourth quarters, but we got outscored by 25 in the third quarter, which is a problem because that counts towards the total score. So we ended up losing by 11, but we'll say, you know, it can't get any worse than that. That's the way I look at it. Uh, stupid COVID, Al Corford can't play because of COVID for some goddamn reason, but Anybody, uh, can somebody run through the schedule? It's really simple. So f- um, Wednesday, we're having a show today. Sunday, we're having the normal show, the weekend show. And then on Friday night, we're doing Turtle Clubs. Everything is basically one being off. pushed back one whatever. Okay. Oakley Doakley. Um, any other questions? Are we ready to rock them? Am I missing anything else? Uh, I don't think so. All right, let's jump right in. The, with- can you pin the link? I couldn't. I can't like pin it. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yes, actually, good, good, good reminder. Give me one sec to. Uh, oh, and that reminds me. So, if you guys like the program and you want to support what we do, we cannot monetize. We can't do uh, the. Hold on one sec. We super can't chat. do the super chat because we had the wrong opinions about some certain topics on here that you're not allowed to have on YouTube. So we had to build our own, and it's called Turtle Chat. And I've just linked it right there. And if you like what we're doing and you want to support the program, you can. Click that button and you can donate whatever amount of money you want. And your message, you get to write a message when you do it. And your message will come up on the email. And I will show that message uh, for the world to see. Like, for instance, uh, Turtle. Apparently, when you missed, like, from last week. Like, there was a Friday. You said there was a Friday Night Raw or something. F-R-R. Fall Fall River Raw. Oh, Fall River Raw. Okay. Don't know. Shout out. Okay. Um, From three days ago. Yeah, so this is okay. I'll check in one moment, but here's one from Turtle Cadet. So, this is an example of how it comes up. It says donation towards the blog from the Chud for Colorado. So, I got to get on that. Thank you, Turtle uh, Cadet. Reminder for that. So, okay, good. Member here. I think you guys will like it. All right. So, um, let me see. Do, do, is there one from Fall River Raw that I missed on here? From Green Hornet, he said it was three days ago. So, it must have been the uh, weekend. Or no, he said he said he sent it three days ago, but it wasn't a show. It was just like random. Oh, oh, I think this one. Let me pull this up real quick. Here it is. Let me see. We got a turtle could that. No, it's also that's not from Fall River Raw. That's turtle could that again. I tried to be as free. Okay, so I don't know what you're talking about at the moment, Jeff. But. We'll have to come back to that. Um, so I don't know what you're talking about, but we can come back to that later. Okay. In the meantime, let's get started with the show, shall we? Deb, uh, can you bring good. up the first blog for me, please? Thank you. Thank you. So we voted on the content tonight and the Turtle Boy OnlyFans page, and people wanted to talk about this story, so I figured we'd talk about it. Let's bring it up. I like oh. it. Oakley Doakley. So uh, there over the weekend in Boston, a young man, well, not a young man, a man like 48, 50, around there years old. His name was Richard Ortiz. And if you go down, uh, the Boston 25 News reporter, uh, what the hell was this broad's name? She blocked Jill me. Kanopka. Jill Kanapka. Jill Kanapka. She decided that she was going to do a story on this, and it, it didn't turn out too well uh, for her. So... <laughs> Let me see what this says. Um, I can't even read that. The, the yeah, letters, I'll bring it's, it up. Oh, on, okay. I'll bring it up on my end. So she writes the following. She has a little tweet that says, I just spoke to the brother of the victim in the officer involved shooting. So stop right there. The victim of the brother of a victim in an officer involved shooting uh, is not the guy getting shot by the cops. I hate how it's just like you're automatically a victim simply because you got shot by the police. Like if you show up to, like in this situation, he tried, he didn't try. He stabbed the police officer in Dorchester and he ended up getting shot. When you do that, you're not a victim. You are the result of Darwinism. It's generally a bad idea to try to stab a cop. Like you're a bad person. If you do that more importantly, you're a dumb person if you try to do that. So it it did not work out too well uh, for him. So he goes, I just spoke to the brother of the victim and the officer involved shooting. He was a father of four, the second oldest of four siblings. Why that matters, I don't know. And a grandfather too. He loved traveling and going to his native Puerto Rico. His younger brother calls him, quote, my idol 
he's always been my idol. Okay, if that guy is your idol, you need better idols, my man. That's, <laughs> it, it's not going to work out well for you. And then if you scroll down, uh, they also had another one here. I don't think I put it in that story, but it's the the Facebook post said Angel Angelina Cologne has shared photos of her uncle, 48-year-old Richard Ortiz. I think you did. I saw that. It, uh, it's not in the blog that we're on, though. It's in the other blog. Oh, so, the other one. And I'm, I'm just reading it right now. It says, oh, okay. has shared photos of her uncle, 48-year-old Richard Ortiz, with Boston 25 News. Okay, it's like he was fatally shot by Boston police after stabbing an officer. It's like, why would I want to see this guy's family photos? Why do I care yeah, right. about like this collage of this dude who got killed by the cops? So people get killed all the time and they're completely innocent and we don't see their family photos. We're going to see this guy's family photos because he got shot by a cop. And I'm like, you know, this isn't some fucking innocent mistake. She ended up taking the story down and Boston 25 news did. And she has ended up blocking me, this particular reporter, Apparently, because they didn't like the blowback, I tagged her on Twitter, and a lot she blocked a lot of people because she doesn't like hearing that she sucks. Because she does, in fact, suck. But like, we, what do you what do you think is going to happen in a situation like this when you go out and you glamorize a guy who just stabbed a police officer? Like, duh. So anyway, uh, her, the son here. Uh, you already got defenders here. I got defenders. Defend, defend. Defenders of the defenders of the the victim, you know. Oh, great, awesome! So I love when this happens. So Kiara says, "What are you talking about? Why are you talking about someone and something you don't know about?" So first of all, um, I'm going to invite you on the show. I'm going to put the link, <laughs> Kiara, if you'd like to join us and come on here and just defend your um, PO or whatever he's called, your abuela, Mister Abuela. If, what's a grandfather called? <laughs> and I don't even know. What's a Mr. Abuela? I don't abuelo. know. What Mr. Abuelo? Abuelo? Yeah. So it's Abuela and Abuelo? Yeah. Oh, it's gay. Okay. So if you want to come up here and defend him, you're you're more than welcome to. However, I will just say this to answer your question. Why are you talking about someone and something you don't know about? Well, I do know about him. I know he stabbed a cop. It's, and that's all I really need to know. Normal people don't find ever find themselves in the situation where the cops are even being called on them. Never mind when the cops actually arrive stabbing said cop. So I know that I know he's a piece of shit. I know the world is probably a better place without him. And I know that everything that came out of him is probably equally to as, or perhaps more shitty than him. I, I have a pretty good understanding of how these folks work and that is my take on that. So, the, and why am I doing this? Uh, I would say that the First Amendment allows me to do it. So I'm just kind of like extra. That's like asking somebody, "Why are you jogging?" Because I'm because I'm allowed to. And extra, like if I have the right, like exercising is a good thing. I'm exercising my First Amendment rights. Okay. So no, I will not shut the fuck up. I'm going to keep talking forever. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm going to keep saying these unpleasant truths because you need to hear them. And the media needs to hear this. This is unacceptable for the media, whenever there's a police-involved shooting, to immediately refer to the person shot by police as some sort of victim. That right there is the problem. That is why we have a divide in our society today is because they're not vic – just because you got shot by the cops does not make you a victim. And especially if you're a person of color, they want to make it out to seem like, oh, you poor guy, This the, the evil police are out here hunting black and brown people. No, they're not. Just don't stab them and you'll be good. Trust me. So I've had quite enough of this. I've had quite enough of this. People are like, you know, Ki Kiara, why are you here? She's welcome here. Okay. She's welcome here. I would challenge her or any of these maggots to come up here and actually debate me, but they're too scared. You don't have to show your face. It's cool. You can okay. use a fake maybe, name. It doesn't maybe matter. Ashley Connolly wants to come up again. Who's Ashley Connolly? Who's that? She's another defender, it looks like. Well, send her the link. Send her the link. We can have her up here. But. Anyway, um, yeah, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Pretty, pretty okay. simple. So anyway, the, the family member here, Ricky Clout Ortiz, he writes the following on Facebook. He says, fuck the police, he says. And then he posts, which is great. I mean, that kind of says it all right there. Then look at this. Look at the dad. I, I mean, come on. You're a grown ass man dressing like that. Like, what are you doing? Look at his pants at the bottom with the one leg up. And what the how old are you? Come on. Throwing, what throw you, the gang signs. Nice. What year is this? 
I mean, was that ever was that ever a gang thing? The one pant leg. No, I don't know if that's a gang thing, but I know that I think his, his hand thing is. So Ashley, are you, you here to defend the honor of the dead guy? Is that right? Because you're more than welcome to come up yeah, if you'd Ashley like to. Yeah, Ashley Connolly says, "Sherry, I'm a defender." Yeah, so feel free. I mean, what's your defense of him, Ashley? I would like to honestly hear this. What is your defense of this guy? If you don't want to come up here, um, again, I'm going to put the link to the live stream. All right, uh, in He's the chat. On, on porn bomb control tonight. Yeah, we'll keep him in the keep him in the back. Um, but if you'd like to come on and do that, or you can describe it in the comments if you're too cowardly to just come up here and have a conversation with me, you're, you're more than welcome to do that as well. So the, the one pant leg was started by Jamaicans in the 90s. Interesting. Uh, let's see. You need to snap. Who needs to snap the fuck out of it? Is this a is this another shit bag? Most likely. They all don't have profile pictures. So. Okay. All right. So, I mean, you can not have a profile. I mean, he's a good guy. And he doesn't have a profile picture, so I'm not going to yeah, discriminate again. Yeah, we do. That's true. And we know him, job and stuff. And I feel like this James Carney person, like I've seen him before, I think. But anyway, they're more than welcome to come up here if, the, if they'd like to do that. But anyway, let's keep scrolling. You sound like a coward, honestly. Well, I'm not the one hiding, Ashley. So that's the difference between me and you. Uh, so there we have dad and son. Okay. That's great. They're wonderful. RIP. This gets hilarious, by the way, this is fucking hilarious. I don't care. And I'm going to laugh about this so much. Keep going. Okay. So, uh, save. Okay. Yeah. Go to the one where he shares the last message that they got together. Okay, so he goes, this is the last, this is the, okay, so you know sometimes, like I've seen people do this before, it's very touching usually, when people share like the final message they had with their mom or their dad or whatever, and it's like, you know, I love you, or like something sweet and whatever, you know, that's that's the kind of thing that you share, right? No, not Ricky Clout. Ricky Clout shares with his sperm donor here, the dead guy, uh, dad messages his son, and says, son, he just calls him son. Son, how much a QP? A QP is a quarter pounder. So that is uh, and not, not the uh, McDonald's kind not either. Like, he's talking about shitty Dorchester marijuana. That's what he's talking about right there. And the son says, 300. They're not even like, hey, dad, how you doing? Nice to hear from you. How you been, dad? It's like 300, dad. Okay. And then dad says, can you bring it Sunday? Gotta be fire, son. <laughs> you got it? And he just goes, yes. Okay. And that's the that's the, ex the extent of their loving relationship and, and whatever. And then one day the dad just messages the son and just goes, God bless. And the son says... God bless. What's up? God bless. What's up? And what does the dad say to that? Keep going. Go to the bottom. The dad says to that, um, nothing. Just giving you blessing, son. All good. And then what is he? What did he write in on the screenshot there? What did the son write in on that? I wish, I wish I could get that God bless text now. I need that blessing, pa. Dude, you didn't even respond to that one. How are you going to say you like, oh, I really wish he would say God bless you. Well, maybe if you actually responded to the last one, dude, it seems like the only time you ever responded to your dad when he's buying pot off of you. Is that all your dad was good is, for? I, I honestly don't know if this is pot, like 125 an ounce. Where does it say 125 an ounce? I don't know. Aaron said that. Nah, a quarter pound is, um, is more than a quarter pound is four ounces, Aaron. So that would be 75 an ounce. Right? Oh, that yeah. makes more sense. Right. Yeah, yeah 75. Definitely. But it's still pretty. I mean, 75 for an ounce it is pretty cheap, I believe. Uh, 75 for an ounce of weed? Oh, yeah, that's extremely cheap. I mean, you can imagine how shitty the weed is that he's selling. You can just imagine it. So, anyway, um, it, th that that's the family love story. And then the, the, the baby mama chimes in, too. She also shares her regrets. If we recall. So Anna says, what did Anna say? Anna Rodriguez says, I will never get to hold you in my arms again, but very grateful and thank that God shared you with me and my family for over three decades. Hashtag my, I think she meant my king to be one word there. Uh, boomer moment. Hashtag my king, friend, father of my boys, lovable grandpa, my pain in the ass, my comfort 
zone and quote negras hat negras hat i don't is that a racial slur can i say that I negras happy place so uh, whatever maybe i don't know maybe a name i don't know what that maybe is but, or something. I don't know. yeah okay so anyway uh yeah, there's that. Loosing. loosing. The, she's loosing. loosing. The worst gloves. thing that could ever happen to me is loosing the love of my life. It's it's the worst. Obviously, right. getting knocked up by this guy makes him the love of her life. Uh, keep on going. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, there they are. Oh, the, she seems lovely. Okay, that's great. She's a grandma. That's wonderful. Normal. Big loss, this guy. Big loss to the community. Dear Not Sally. being... Not being able to go through our last messages. So let's check out their last messages. Let's see what they uh, said. Keep going. That one's not them? Oh. No, it gets bigger. Oh, okay. okay. So this is, first of all, I like how she has him in the phone as Richie Baby Daddy. Okay. <laughs> and the last time he messaged her was 2019. <laughs> It was 2019, okay, which is really shocking. And she says, GM Negra Rose. And he says, GM, I think that's good morning, I'm guessing, okay. Yeah. And then she responds, hello, hours later. And what does he say? Hi, Hi Ma. Ma. What's good? Hi, honey. And that's it. That's the extent of their relationship. So obviously, this guy is a huge loss for the community. Um, the world will never be the same without him. Uh, RIP, pour, pour out some fireball. Him and Kate have that in common, at least. Krusty Panties there. They can uh, <laughs> pour out some fireball from my homies. Oh, God. Oh, geez. Okay, I don't want to. But he looks happy, so there we go. We he looks retired. He looks. Right is he retired? I mean, serious question. I don't know. Is he short bus guy? Uh, he, he fathered a bunch of kids. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay. Either way, um, he's dead, and obviously the world is a much, much, you know, worse place without him because that guy was certainly making a difference in the world. Okay. All right. Let's go on to the next topic, shall we? I can't pretend to care about that guy for much longer. All right. Um, I think uh, next we wanted to talk about what were the other things I had on the agenda? One and transgender. Um, I wanted to talk about which one? Um. Bishop Swan and then the transgender. Yeah, let's talk about Bishop Swan. I want to talk about Bishop Swan, that asshole. <laughs> he might be. He might be, Teresa. I don't know. I don't think they can put together more than a few words at a time. Uh, they brought you terrible guests. Who? Who are we talking about? Okay. Anyway, um, so let's talk about uh, Mr. Swan here. So I, I, I blogged about this guy a couple of years ago, and he is just, oh, my God, another one of these, quote, unquote, bishops. So, quote, unquote, Bishop Talbert Swan uh, responds to the, uh, first of all, we got to talk about the Buffalo thing. We haven't talked about that whole shooting incident. So uh, I've had quite enough of this bullshit quite frankly and i just did a blog on it earlier about the emails coming out enough of the fucking emails enough of the emails from your boss or your kid's school if i get an email about this buffalo shooting i'm gonna write back to them enough of this shit it's not your job as an employer to send out a goddamn email and make sure that i'm okay with the situation in buffalo Newsflash, everyone's okay. Not a single fucking person is sitting at home being like, oh my God, Buffalo. Yeah, it sucks for the people who died. If, if, you, are, if you lost someone who died in Buffalo, then it's obviously affecting you. But other than that, it's just this freak thing that occurred. And it really doesn't mean much to you. It doesn't. It, like, this hardly ever happens. It hardly ever happens. These racially motivated freaking grocery store shootings but you're much more likely to die in a car accident and we don't sit here and be like oh my god there was a 10 car pile up in milwaukee last week four people died if you need time to process this and two of them were black and one of them was transgender and we need time to process this we're gonna have a safe space at work okay where is buffalo oh <laughs> oh man Without Buffalo, there would be no Turtle Boy. But um, Buffalo is in upstate New York, west all the way in the west of New York. 
It is on, it's in between the two Great Lakes there, Erie and Ontario. It gets cold in the winter, but anyway, um, there was a, I guess there was a, this guy targeted this, this place and he, he you know, the, have you seen the video, Deb? Um, no, I haven't. It's, it's freaking insane. I've seen it. The dude shows up there. He had like this manifesto in which he wrote all his beliefs or whatever. They always do this. And uh, he he decided on his gun, his I think it was an AR-15. He had the N word, I believe, written on the front of it. But he also had the names of like the victim, one of the victims of the Waukesha, Wisconsin shooting, the and shooting the Waukesha terrorist incident. People forget about this. In November of last year, a guy by the name of Daryl Brooks, a black supremacist, a guy who thought that whiteness was evil got in a car and mowed down a bunch of white people, targeted them and killed them at a parade in Waukesha, Wisconsin. And there was no coverage of it. It was, I mean, there was coverage until they found out the motive and they're like, Oh yeah, we have no interest. We're just going to move on from this one. They found out the guy was black. The victims were white and then he didn't even die. Like, remember they're all mad. Like, why did the cops take this latest shooter alive? Black, you know, white people just get Burger King after they kill people. And black people die when they, you know, scratch their ass at the wrong time. Well, Daryl Brooks ran like 25 people over, killed six of them, and was taken alive. Because that's what happens when you surrender. They take you alive. Okay? So, this guy, uh, you know, every, the media is all up in arms about this. They're all up. As soon as I saw this, I'm like, oh, great. We're going to hear all this bullshit now about how this was, uh, you know, a big, like a sign of something bigger in this country that America it was still so systemically racist. Forgot about the Sacramento shooting, the car show in South Carolina. I've, I remember the Brooklyn subway shooting. I don't remember the, uh, the Sacramento one or the car show one. I'm assuming that a white person didn't kill a bunch of black people in those or else I would hear about it. That's when you hear about it. Cause that deadly shooting in Virginia shopping center today, shooter was black. Yeah. I mean, I haven't heard any, I don't know. I have like, so, so if I wouldn't know if that happens. So, I mean, this does unfortunately happen a lot in this country shootings in general, but enough with the freaking emails. This happened after George Floyd died. We got all these emails, but like, if you, if you, if you need a place to grieve, no one needs a place to grieve. We need to make, we have to make check in on your black friends. Make sure they're processing this. Okay. Okay. Any person white or black who is pretending to be traumatized by George Floyd or Buffalo can suck all the dicks. They're either, they're either a complete phony who is just using someone else's personal tragedy for their own attention seeking behavior or they're mentally ill. It's one or the other. You can't, you, you can't possibly be affected by this genuinely and not be mentally ill. There's no way. Anyway, uh, so the media has a field day with this because the guy is a white nationalist, I guess. He said a lot of white nationalist thing. And as soon as I saw this, whenever you see white nationalist in, involving something like this, th they get like everybody at MSNBC, including the women, because women have dicks now. They all get big chubs. Like pants tense city, it explodes like, oh my God, a white man nationalist killed black people. Oh my God, I'm so high. They, they come in their pants. They're so excited about this because they're like, oh, this is going to be so, we're going to talk about this. And they're more importantly, they don't give a shit about the dead people. They don't wait for the bodies to even, you know, bec uh, become stiff. They just immediately like, oh my God. We can do, we can use this tragedy to do the number one thing that we want to do. And that is shut up Tucker Carlson. That's like the first thing that comes to mind with them is like, oh, great. We can use this as an opportunity to censor, right? We can censor people with this. Like this is what Chuck Schumer said. Let me bring up the, Sh the Chuck Schumer tweet. And this are, these are mainstream Democrats. Okay. These aren't like, this isn't AOC or any bullshit like that. Like, you know, crazy, wacky socialists or whatever. This is the Senate majority leader. Let me bring this up. And this here's Chuck. So this is what Chuck Schumer says. He goes, 
Tucker Carlson invited me on his show tonight to debate the letter I sent to Fox News. So he sent a letter to Fox News basically saying that I want you to take Tucker off the air. Because, again, why do they want to take Tucker off the air? Because Tucker believes in something called the Great Replacement Theory, or so they say. Deb, have you ever heard of the Great Replacement Theory before, like, this weekend? No. Okay, no. so let me let me school you on this. So the Great Replacement Theory is this idea that, uh, you know, Americans are being replaced by people from other countries and uh, whatever. Like, white nationalists believe, like, the Jews are behind it. And that it's like white genocide. I don't know the whole thing. I don't read white nationals literature, right. so I'm not really up to date with any of that. But whatever Tucker Carlson talks about it, and they compare it to that. And not only does Tucker Carlson talk about it, though, and everything Tucker Carlson is saying is true. And you know how I, I know it's true is because Democrats have said it themselves. Let me actually pull. The, and, and so before we do the, like, so the rest of his tweet goes, I'm declining. So he, he sent a letter to Fox News and is like, I want Tucker taken off the air because he talks about the great replacement theory. So Tucker has to go. And this is all they do. They just want to shut Tucker up because they know that Tucker is the most influential person in the media, particularly for conservatives. He gets people like me fired up. He got I mean, I never watched Fox News. I never watched any political television before I found Tucker Carlson. I have no interest in it. I I find Sean Hannity to be such a corporate stooge sellout piece of shit. I don't I'm not going to listen to him talk. I don't find anyone on Fox News really exciting except for Tucker Carlson. That's it. I only watch Fox between 8 and 9 and then I turn it off. Okay? I don't need to hear Sean Hannity tell me to suck Dr. Oz's dick. No, thank you. But he writes this thing and they want him off the air because Tucker kills it. And Tucker says the things that so many million Americans are thinking. So many million Americans. And it's just so refreshing to hear it on television because we all see it happening with our own eyes. Why do Democrats want un, like what unrestricted illegal immigration? It's really simple because that's a new batch of voters. And every time a new voter comes in here from another country... They they basically nix out your vote. I mean, it's this isn't brain surgery here. It's it's pretty freaking basic math. And don't take my word for it. Take the words of Democrats. Check out this video I got here for you guys. Let me find this video real quick. This little mix up video. Actually, yeah. Okay. It seems harder and harder to ignore that the echoes of replacement theory and other racially motivated views are increasingly coming out into the open. In a few years, we're going to be a majority brown country. White people will not be the majority in the country anymore. This will be the first generation ever in American history uh, in which whites will be a minority of the generation at some point. As of 2007, every year babies being born in this country, whites now are the minority. In 2044? Uh, everyone is going to be a minority. As the demographics change, as white people become the minority in the country, which is coming. Demographics is destiny. Demographics is destiny. Demographics is destiny, right? The country is changing. I've been saying it here. Other people have been saying it here for years now, even before Donald Trump. The demographics is destiny. The white population is declining for the first time in history in America, while the number of multiracial Americans have more than doubled. So we live in a country where the demographics are changing. It's becoming less white. Uh, correct. Okay. You'll be announcing that we're calling the 38 electoral votes of Texas for the Democratic nominee for president. It's changing. It's going to become a purple state and then a blue state because of the demographics, because of the oh. population growth. The growth in Texas. They seem to agree. Almost entirely driven by non-white population growth, oh. mostly by Hispanic and Latino population growth. The idea that uh, you know whites will will not be the majority. I mean, that's it's an exciting transformation. Oh, it's the exciting! It's an exciting evolution. It's exciting! Uh, and, oh, you know, so exciting! Country oh, progress! In many different ways. The white population is declining. I'm just gonna pause it right there. These, I mean, to hear a white person say that too, it's just so pathetic. It's, it's you're basically like, oh, dude, we suck. We suck so bad. White people, we fucking blow, dude. It's just so exciting. Thank God. Thank God. There's a less of us. We just need more, less us, more them. And the world will be a better place. These people are so race obsessed. 
They are so, and, and again, this replacement theory isn't a theory. It's a fact. They, they want this. Like, it's like not a fact. It's a blueprint. It's like literally what their entire party is based upon is unlimited immigration to get more votes. It's not fucking brain surgery. Everybody knows that. So right, let's play some more. It, it was always on the upswing. So that speaks Look to at these two old diversity bags. of America. Beautiful diversity. It speaks to um, uh, how the, that population, will, the demographics, uh, will weigh in politically. I believe anybody who reckons oh my God. is the blame. That's not this flattering. Crime, but it's, it's for no purpose. Can someone turn them around? No except profit and or political benefit. And it's wrong. It's just simply wrong. It's simply wrong, except they do it all the time. And so it's wonderful when, when they do it. So that, that's great news. So Tucker talks about that, and it's a big no-no. And but and now, so Chuck Schumer wants is demanding that Fox take um, Tucker Carlson off the air, that he stop talking about this. Do you guys understand what a how serious that is? Like, what a serious affront to free speech that is for all of you. For a gov- I mean, this should be a much bigger deal, but it's not because censorship is now a key component to liberalism. Liberalism used to be the champion of free speech. Now conservatism is like the champion of free speech, but th- this should be a much bigger deal. It's something we should all really be afraid of, worried about is the Senate president, the Senate majority leader is telling a major news company that you can't say things. You can't say these things anymore. You can't have these opinions. You can't vocalize them on your air because every time you do, they just use the pretext of someone else dying. You're killing people. That's your fault, Tucker Carlson. It's not the, you know, the fact that this guy's clearly mentally ill, right? That can't have anything to do with this. It can't be the fact that this guy is a fucking or just a piece of shit criminal. Like people are criminals. Whatever happened to holding criminals responsible for their own behavior? We don't believe in that anymore. Everything has to be Fox News's fault. This is like what the and and all of it is just a censorship grab. The the communists are obsessed with censorship. They want all of you guys to not be they like guys, they've been how long have they been trying to censor me for? The communists. <laughs> for the last I mean, I invented internet censorship. They have been trying, and, and, and what will they use? Well, he's going to get someone hurt. His speech is dangerous. His followers will send you a message, and Seven Pounder will be in your inbox. And, uh, you know, he's going to come after you, and, you know, the violence and blah, blah, blah. We've had, I mean, how many people have made up lies about, like, Turtle Boy beating them up over some— I, I've seen it many, many times before. This is just the new playbook. Again, I invented this shit, man. I've been doing this shit before. It's cool. But anyway, so let's uh let's go. Can we bring the blog up about Bishop Talbert Swan, please? Yeah, hold on. Okay. So this is okay though. So this piece of shit, Tal Bishop Talbert Swan. Who is basically what Tony Branch wishes he was, like he aspires to be this guy. He sits on Twitter all day with his blue check mark and his 175,000 followers, and he just talks shit. And he and he, he used to be a Trump reply guy. He would just respond to Donald. He would get an alert every time Trump would tweet, and he would respond to it and call him like a pasty mayonnaise cracker or some shit like that. Uh and you know, basically this guy made a, 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 I don't know, a living doing this, but it's how he built his brand. He was actually suspended from Twitter for hate speech, but go down because Charlie Baker, for some reason, appointed this guy to something called the Hate Crime Task Force because we need one of those. The Hate Crime Task Force. Can you just imagine? I mean, what a waste of money. This piece of shit. Look, look, let's look at some of the things he said in the past. Uh, so this is what he said. I don't expect a pasty, mayonnaise-dripping, middle-aged saltine to understand the elegance and beauty of black women. Your white woman obviously does, which is why she gets injections in her baloney lips. 
okay? Implants in her pancake derriere, tans and weaves, trying to look black. That guy is a bishop. I'll tell you one, that's a fake bishop too. Sue me, Talbert Swan. I fucking dare you, you piece of shit. At least Tony Branch doesn't block me. I'll give him one credit. That he's, he's, he might be a pedophile and a piece of shit. But at least he's not a coward. Because I wrote a blog about this, exposing this guy two years ago and all his misdeeds. And we can go over some of those in a minute. And this motherfucker blocked me because I'm effective and he knows that. And he's like, basically, he does not want me. Because he knows I'll, I will respond to all of your tweets with a link to this article so that everyone knows what a fraudulent piece of shit you are. So anyway, go, let's see what else Bishop says. Uh, so this is what he tweets the other day. And this is the kind of language that just has to end, folks. Whiteness is an unrelenting demonic force of evil. Whiteness. What the fuck is whiteness? I'm so sick of hearing that. That's, an, that's another common SJW term that they're just throwing out there now. Right? Whiteness. What does that mean? Like, what? Whiteness? What, what's whiteness? Okay, so I'm, I'm white. So am I, am I whiteness? And uh, so I'm just... So because I'm... Imagine, imagine just saying for a moment, blackness is an unrelenting demonic force of evil after a black person kills someone. Imagine that happened. You could, that, that was socially acceptable. A black person kills a white person, and you're just like, blackness is an unrelenting demonic force of evil. I couldn't even say that. I wouldn't want to say that. Because they're fucked up and evil. Like you have to be a demented piece of shit to write something like that. Never mind, think something like that. But it's just become so socially acceptable to say shit like this. There's no consequences for this, and this is why I exist to fucking call out these fucking frauds like this. A bishop wouldn't say anything like this. So whiteness is an unrelenting, demonic force of evil. What else we got there? Uh. You upset that I'm speaking the truth about your wickedness? And Because somebody goes, if he said this about any other race, he would be banned. But he's allowed to engage in a blood libel on here. And he goes, you upset that I'm speaking the truth about the wickedness of whiteness. Dude, I need to find out, Deb, when this guy is holding mass. I need to go to his fucking church. I know, That's right? Because you can't, can't you not exclude people from churches based I'm gonna, on their yeah. color? Uh, listen up, Calpitz one. I hope you're listening. Somebody pass this clip on to him. I'm coming to your mass. I'm coming to your fucking mass. And I'm going to call it, since you're so much of a pussy that you block me on Twitter. I live an hour away from you. I ain't that far. I go to Springfield for court all the time. <laughs> I could be a regular in your church, motherfucker. I ain't going to put shit in the basket. But I will be there every fucking week for mass. Yeah, if you want everybody to should be. Every, all of the white friends, bring them all. Yeah, well, I'm bringing all my mayonnaise dripping saltines, motherfucker. And we are bringing our whiteness with us. And we are sitting in there. And we're calling you a bigot. Because that's what we are. That's what you are. You're a bigot. And we're calling people like you out. But anyway, what else does he say? He also goes on to say that uh, you're... So and this is what, they, again, Rayla Campbell and people like this know. Conservative black people know that they get it worse than anybody. They get called coons if they say something conservative. You are such a coon. That's another thing that's acceptable. Somehow that a racial slur like that, calling someone a coon is now just okay. You can just Only call black people. Only if you're people. black, though. Black people yeah, call black, other black people coons. Can woke white people call black people coons? I, no, I feel I like that's frowned upon. I don't think upon. you get that privilege still. Probably Okay. Not. Yeah, probably not. Sean King, that's a coin toss. We'll see. But <laughs> keep on going up. What else we got? Candace Owens is still a syncophantic buck ba dancing bootlicking white supremacy apologist with the struggling perm. Ooh, black girl tragic. He's so witty. Keep on going. Oh, fucking gay. What else does he say here? Uh, another white supremacist. So this is what he says about the shooting. Another white supremacist terrorist entered True Bethel, a black church in Buffalo with a gun this morning. I'm like, I didn't hear anything about a second white supremacist shooter. The governor was present and security apprehended the savage before he could shoot anyone. These demons, he calls them demons, need to be, what's the word? Exterminated. Oh, I can't see. There you go. Exterminated. So they got to be exterminated. So he shares a link to this article. I mean, that's a genocidal word, exterminated. Yeah, he yeah. Shares, yeah, he shares a link to this article. 
And I click on the article for something called rollingout.com, which I've never heard of before for good reason. And look at the first thing it says at the top of this article. Second gunman in Buffalo enters black church. Okay, but look at the article. Look, go down. Oh, down. When you when you actually click on it's uh keep going down. The first oh, thing it says it. is updated from a previous version of the story that stated that an actual gunman had entered the church lobby. What? So they so he sh so there was no gunman? Okay, less than 24 hours after a racist gunman drove to Buffalo to kill as many black people as he could, the members of the True Bethel Church in Buffalo, where Governor uh, New York Governor Kathy Hockul, the state attorney general, and a host of state and city officials were attending service, heard, quote, put down the gun in loud commanding voice. Bishop Darius Pridgen was delivering his sermon when right around the 26 minute mark of the video below, someone in the church can be heard screaming, put down the gun, put down the gun and the commotion breaks out at that point. So it sounds like there's a gunman, right? At that point, Bishop Pidgeon directs members of the congregation to move as he exits the pulpit and calls for security guards to quote, get him. Keep on going. Keep on going. Okay. Well, nope. Too far. Too far, Deb. We're reading the article. There we go. Okay. Well, based on a post later put up on the Bishop's Facebook page, there was not actually a gunman, but a grieving individual saying who just interrupted the sermon screaming. So there was no gunman. It was just a guy saying like, yo, put down the guns. Stop shooting. Can we stop shooting, everybody? That's what they were saying. So there was no actual gun. It was just somebody praying, like, to end the gun violence. And so, but does Bishop Talbert Swan care? No, he doesn't care. He doesn't care because it goes along with his narrative. These people are so shameless. If this was a conservative, there would be a, I mean, Donald Trump, everything he writes on uh, on, on Twitter, any conservative person gets fact-checked. This is uh, our independent fact-checkers at the Washington Post. Taylor Lorenz says this is not true. Oh, shit. Then shut the fuck up. Nobody cares. OK, this is obviously a lie. He's allowed to put it up. Nobody does anything about it. And the cycle continues. Keep on going. Now, chill out with the Gianetti that chronic ironic. He can <laughs> suck all the dicks. Anyway, this is um, Daryl Brooks. Here's some of the things Daryl Brooks shared on his page. The guy from Waukesha who you didn't get any emails about at your work. He shares this. Martin Luther King smiling as a black guy whips white people picking cotton. This is literally black supremacy. Like this is what he's envisioning. Daryl Brooks. He went by math boy fly. Okay. And then he goes, I learned and taught behavior. So when we start back knocking white people, the fuck out, I all want to hear it. The old white people too. Knock them the fuck out, period. And then he ran over a bunch of old white people with his car. That should probably be a bigger deal, but it's not. And we didn't hear shit from Talbert Swan about that either. Funny how that works. Keep on going. So if you recall, I mean, Talbert Swan has a, has a past too. And I reminded people of this. Talbert Swan uh, wrote a book. He's a liberal. Keep on going. Got to Let's see the book. It's called... Closing the Closets, Testimonies of Deliverance from Homosexuality. This is back when you could, you know, be a Democrat and be opposed to gay marriage. Like, suppose you're a, you know, a religious black guy, quote unquote. They kind of came around last on homosexual rights. But now you have to get in line and support, you know, gay rights or whatever if you're on the left. So he, but this book is forever. The book's still out there. He wrote that book about like getting escaping homosexuality. Oh yeah, very progressive. Keep on going. Let's see what else we got here. Um so there he Wait. is with his what? Yeah. So they got he owes a shitload of money in child support. Look at this guy dressing up. I mean, come on. Jesus Christ. So he owed $81,000 in child support, which is perfectly normal, I guess. Keep on going. So he just didn't pay his child support for years and years and years. He's got all these court cases. He's got a bunch of judgments against him. He's been to jail for larceny before. What did the, what this one say? I need advice from, I need advice from a white supremacist jackass 
like you about how to fix the black community. Like I need a bra. You do kind of need a bra. You're fat. <laughs> Go get your cousins before they shoot up another school, theater, or church. Then get your uncles off the child support most wanted list. Meanwhile, this dude owes a bunch of child support, which is freaking priceless. Absolutely priceless. <laughs> Keep on going. Okay. Dear Deadbeat, instead of talking smack about your ex-wife or ex-girlfriend's father, how about calling him the Christmas and saying, thank you for taking care of the child that I wish my trifling self won't take responsibility for. It's so ironic. And he like bragged about it afterwards. He's like, turtle boy, ha, ha, ha. That was thrown out. It's like, okay, so you cried bankruptcy and you got, you know, I didn't have to go to support. I didn't have, I never had to go to court for over, for $81,000 in child support. That's not normal. That's not, like, you think that's like a badge of honor? You deadbeat piece of shit. Keep on going down. So, we, yeah, more stuff about that. Keep on going. So then there's this cases with the larceny. He went to jail. Commonwealth first for larceny and I think like 1995 him and his wife they got a lean on their house keep on going we're just gonna go through these quick somebody's disgusted by your hate speech agent who are they oh, here to are is she here to defend what well, sounds like it she's disgusted by your hate speech oh that's wonderful is she a real person again I guess so okay so Les are I, I challenge you you're more than welcome to come up on the program and debate with me about why you feel um, you're disgusted and what you find hateful about my speech. Um, and do you think I should be censored, Lazar? I would like to hear that. Do you think that I should be silenced? Should I be allowed to say the things that I'm saying on YouTube or at all, period? Maybe I should be in jail for this. Maybe I should you know, be put in prison or some type of work camp if you don't agree with the things that I'm saying. Maybe you want to live in a country like that. I don't. I think that's bad. Uh, he had a tax lien put on him. Uh, because he owed a whole bunch of taxes and he had like his, a bunch of shit repossessed. And what else we got there? Um, meanwhile, he's like, you know, shitting on Trump for not showing his taxes or whatever. Um, so that's great. I mean, that's normal. I'll tell you one thing. He definitely didn't pay back the child support. He didn't pay back $81,000 in child support. He also duped some contractor out of $47,000 who rebuilt his church after the tornado in 2011 that went through there. Um, but yeah, so that's, uh, that's Talbert Swan. Apparently it's hate speech. If you have a problem with these things, I, I disagree with that. I disagree with that assessment. So, uh, okay. So I guess Les R is not there. So I, I, that's enough Talbert Swan. We'll stop there. I got a couple other tweets here. I wanted to show you. Um, let's see. By the way, so did you guys, the elections last night, by the way, does anybody know is the, is the, is the Pennsylvania one still going on? Did Oz win? It, um, or uh, did McCormick wink? We find that I don't even know. I, I feel like an announcement would have been made with that. Goddamn, tr I mean, uh, fucking Oz and yes, Jesse. Oh, yesterday. Nine minutes ago. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show. Kathy Barnett lost. I, I know that because Sean Hannity, who's just so, I fucking hate Sean Hannity. Let me play this. Sean Hannity clip here. No, three Is hours it, ago, they were still counting thousands of valent votes or whatever. Okay. We said nobody's out yet. Yeah, marching alongside, this just broke today, radical Proud Boys during uh, January 6th. She claimed she had no idea who they were and that she didn't breach the Capitol. And look at this. Look I mean, what are you, a leftist, Sean Hannity? Like... Why is he falling for this narrative? Oh my God, she was part of the January 6th thing. Since when does anyone on Fox News give a shit about January 6th? And I was just pretending to because they all, he just, that dude would suck Donald Trump's cock so freaking hard and long and well too. He would do a great job. He would clean up everything. Sean in, and, and since Trump endorsed Oz, that means the hand that he has to endorse Oz. There's such fraudulent pieces of shit. I hate him so much. I hate Sean Hannity with a passion. Um, meanwhile, there's a new, uh, there's a new press secretary. The ginger's gone. I don't know if you guys saw that. And she has been replaced by the first bisexual, uh, immigrant woman of color, uh, who goes by Jean Pierre. She's a typical DNC useless yeah. hack. The first thing she said on there was like, I'm the first black lesbian Haitian immigrant 
to ever serve in this role. Congratulations, sweetie. We're really proud of you for being, you know, you for existing. We're really proud of you. Like <laughs> as if like, wh why is that the first thing that everybody says now? That's the reason, by the, by the way, that people are going into grocery stores, shooting up the place is because when you constantly harp on race, when you constantly, when the first thing you think about a person is their race and you group people into separate subgroups based on the color of their skin, what do you think is going to happen? Like, how do you think that's going to end up? And then you blame one of the groups for causing problems to the other group. What do you think is going to happen? And by the way, like I realized right away, I'm like, oh shit, Jen Saki was actually kind of good at her job. Like she's a raging cunt and I hate her and she just lies, but lying is literally her job. That's what, that, that's what her, she's, she's a shill for the administration. This woman can't even do that right. This is her, she had a tough start. Check out how she did. Well, but how does raising taxes on corporations lower the cost of gas, the cost of a used car, the cost of food for everyday Americans? So look, I think we encourage those who have done very well, right? Especially those who care about climate change uh, to support a fair ta tax code that doesn't change, that doesn't charge manufacturers, workers, cops, builders, a higher percentage of their earnings, that the most fortunate people in our nation- She's reading off the, the script. This, that stand in the way of reducing energy costs and fighting this ex existential problem. If you think about that climate. as an example. Oh, climate change. So how does reducing, because Biden tweeted out, we need we can fix inflation by just taxing corporations more. How's that going to work? So I tax corporations more, and then gas goes down. Wait, what? How, how does that work? I, I I'm not an economist, but I didn't know it worked that way. And her answer to that was climate change. Okay, climate change. So that's that's normal. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, anything else I wanted to bring up here? I think I got to it all. Why don't we do a little uh, Ask Turtle Boy to end the show here? It's been a, been a good show. been a fun show. We talked a lot of politics tonight. But if you guys have any questions, fire away. Uh, you want to talk about anything, now's the time to do so. We can have a little fun to end the show, whatever you guys want to talk about. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, Sean Spicer lied too. Well, I don't love Jen. They all lied. They, like that's, that's literally their job is to get up there and shill for the no, administration. No. Oh, donos? Do we have any donos? Oh, we got one. Nice. Okay, cool. Hold on. We got one here from Carrie T. Let's see what she has to say for herself. So Carrie T says, um, $25. As always, I appreciate all you do. A Western Mass Turtle Rider. Thank you. So you're out in Bishop Talbert Swan territory out there. Well, thank you, Carrie. I appreciate all you do, thanks for listening. Thanks for supporting the cause. Again, if anyone else wants to uh, donate, the link is right pinned to the top called Turtle Chat. All right. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Um, thoughts on the deep, the depth. I haven't watched any of it, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, don't marry crazy bitches 20 years younger than you. That's what I would say about that. That's basically... <laughs> I'm team Johnny Depp. That's all I got. I assume I'm team Johnny Depp. I assume that she's the crazy one and all this. I think that she, he claimed, she said that she, he kicked the shit out of her, right? And he's suing her because he didn't, right? That's what this is about. I guess so. Like, I haven't really been paying attention. Everybody, people talk about it. It's like, who, who, I don't understand how people. I just don't, yeah, I don't have time for this shit. I don't care. Like, like yeah, and how, and how long, that are relevant to yeah. And how long has this been going on? Like, this freaking trial. Like, I feel like it's been on. Deposition it really trial. has been for a while. Defamation trials last this long? Who, who knew? Yes, of course we're team Depp. Is anybody team Amber Heard? Anyone? I think they all were initially. Like who is until, like until like she like they find out she like shits the bed or something. She shit in his bed, right? That that's was the big. That's not good. She says she you did, of course, but you know. I mean, she pulled the crusty panties. You can't go and definitely get someone else's honestly. bed. That's pretty fucking bad. You can't do that. You can't do that. So, and we're still here. I mean, 10 days. Uh, uh, we're still waiting for Team Storm to unleash the storm on us, guys. Uh, I believe it's been about 10 days since Shannon handed over the keys to the other members of the storm in, in crusty panties, and they have not posted a goddamn thing. 
What happened, guys? What I thought there was a bunch of you guys doing this. You stopped. I was really looking forward to the storm. But apparently, it was not to be. It was not to be. So I'm really sad about that. Okay. Don't play the babe in the woods. You know damn well what we want. Oh, stop it. Clean urine stash. Do we have any other good Gennady videos we could share to end the night? Any chick deuces in my bed is a key. <laughs> oh, snap. You're a fucking filthy one, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, we've oh, got a brand. Okay. okay. The new one. I think the Babe in the Woods, maybe. Should we check it out? I think we should check it out. I'll go check so it out. Too. Clean urine stash. I subscribe to your channel. Clean urine stash. 315 subs. So the most recent one, Mike in the crack pipe. Is that the one? Sounds like a bedtime oh. story. Which one? Um, no, yes. that was from. Okay, that's. Wait, oh, wait. You mean the Dob Debbie Domino's? Which one? What a blurred oh, line. Nice. Which one should I be watching there? The takedown, he said. The takedown? Okay, this one. All right, this one? All right, let's check yeah. it out. No problem with racists, with, 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 with homosexuals. I love them. You know, good job, oh, guys. Why? Anyway. Good job, guys. Oh, glad the beat is fucking playing. We take it live, now I'm saying. I got this little turtle boy pro named Josh. He's a bitch. Car spice. Bifocal. No hair, road game, man. Caught you outside my house. You dipped and rolled the fuck out when I put on my shoes. Don't get it confused. You lit the fuse. No more detective and police reports. Abort the mission. Fight me up and up or I put 10 bands on your knees. Wheelchair. Paraplegic. A good fucking ass whipping you needed. I went from rags to riches. From pulling no bitches to fucking hundreds. You fucking little creep. Weirdo audio and only play my little kid yelling, talking about <laughs> What's that? and then you come back when making fun of his penis. What the fuck thinks of it? All you want is to talk about my son. Talk about me, bitch. I'll meet you Josh. right now and fuck you up. You got 24 hours to see me. Oh, West Roxbury Police, this is my declaration. I'm going to put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> I'm sick of these motherfuckers coming after my son. He can't defend for himself. So guess what? He got 24 hours or I'm dropping a bag on his head. Even in my darkest hour, I devour. I let the demon tame. Try to be a father. Try to change Where does he find name. this stuff? Everybody Holy fucks shit. ECF because they were jealous of my son. Oh, they jealous. They all wanted my kid. They all let him it's my kid. Them. They all wanted a son by me. Facts, not fiction. So <laughs> we, we prefer <laughs> they, them. Motherfucker. Keep fucking with me, I'll shoot you. I'll go do 25. Y'all put me and made me crazy. I'm motherfucking incompetent. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna tear off your head. Where's Diane? You Diane, Diane we know you're listening. Come on, Diane. Tired Brett's not gonna yell at you. Come on, if you're talking. Kid. Josh. After I'm done with you, you'll be at McDonald's flipping fries. You ain't nothing like Turtle Boy. Even she tries to report. He only oh. did lies about me because I fucking dropped dimes on. Okay, could we just gotta what he's talking about here, guys? So this is this we gotta talk to you, Eddie. I got this crazy message on him about on Twitter yesterday. I'll read it to you. I posted it on Facebook, but uh, I I didn't know what the hell he was talking about first. And then he he's talking about some guy. He called him Jose first. Okay, so that. he goes, yeah, all right, so this is the exchange. He goes, um, sends me a message, and then he's like, you see me texting about, and I'm like, what? He goes, all, all your friend Diane is doing is going to cause you drama. 
I am sick of you coming after my kid. I couldn't call DCF on you 1,000 times. And I'm like, what did Diane do? And he goes, she wants a song. You both are taped in my phone. Missing uh, and exploited children. <laughs> this is raw beef. Keep the kids out. Last warning. Fix it. I'm like, what? I go, are you mad because I'm adopting your son and letting him be a girl? He just goes, yo. <laughs> His answer is yo. And I go, what do you want? He goes, I ID is not Aiden. I'm like, what? He goes, how is Jose? Josh. Josh. And I said, who? Aiden is ain't I. You account is Carney TB. You want to be a good report all right now. Your little buddy, Josh, she's been fucking with me. My son, right? He's a troll turtle boy fan. Why are you not acting like you don't know what I'm talking about? I know this is not Aiden Carney, okay? This has to be that you, full Josh or Linda, in parentheses, Diane. I don't know what any of that means, but I think he seems to think that he's he's cracked the case here. And he's not talking to me. He's talking to somebody named Josh. So I'm a troll named Josh. I don't know what Diane's been feeding him or what Diane's been telling something him. Something cracked, but not the case. Yeah, some, something there. So he goes, he is hacking in your show. He's been sending me shit from 2016 that you've done is hacked into your show, hacked into my phone. He is trying to frame you. Is he talking about Josh Abrams? Who's he even talking I thought that's what that's what I thought he was talking about. Like, like that's what I got. But then he says, and Josh, I think this is yo. I'm going to find you, bro. And I'm going to find you for the reason of you making fun of my son's penis. You want to make fun when I said I was going to do this. I'm going to. That's fine. What you made you think it was a joke to go on YouTube and talk about my son's penis and make fun of it. Because he's not circumcised. Why do you even think like that? Why is it a fresh and it comes out of your fucking mouth to make fun of somebody? Are you the one that came down here and fucking tried to kidnap the baby in Georgetown, creep? Okay, so, so mystery solved. Clean urine is Josh because he called and pretended to be to be Josh Abrams on, on a live. Oh, is that what happened? Oh, my God. He's so retarded. So with that context, that's what he's talking about. Let's review the rest of the film there. And so does is this the actual beat, or did he just take Sonic? So does he just take Janetti rapping and superimpose it with a different beat? Is that what he does? I don't know. I think so. Like, I kind of want to hear. I mean, I like the gra I appreciate the effort, but I actually want to hear the original version when he does it. You know, I like the original version. His identity. I was a fucking enemy that meant life or death. So he came at me with lies. No, I think this is original. Lies, I think this is the background. So he had nothing this left. Is the, yeah, he just said everybody it's just, he wants me on back it. on his show. I'll make or break him, but now I'm coming after you. I'm gonna end your career. You know why? Because you ain't gonna be able to talk again. Why don't I just get your tongue cut the fuck out? Cut that fucking weirdo shit out. I'm warning you, I don't want problems. But I got enough money to solve them. Guess what? You can lie and talk about the crap all you want. You see me on Instagram with 30,000, man. You've seen all the gold. You see the different outfits. You see the joke you're cutting, how handsome the kid is. Yo, I'm telling you this. I got bitches that will kill you just to get my dick. Blog that. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> what the fuck? So uh, she was like, stop, no, stop. And I was like trying to creep my way. And she's like, no, no, no. And then once I got in, she was like, no, stop. And then she gave me the go. I mean, she would, some girls play like that. Okay, that is just priceless. Oh, what yeah. a way. We should end the show, every show with the genetic clip like that. Those are great. Seriously, Those are... you're going to have to put out more content, man. Yeah, well done. No, he's got a lot of content. Clean urine stash. I appreciate that. That was. Can we ever get him back? He's so retarded, though. Like I, I feel like he's just. I'll never. I never know when I'm going to hear from him next. He's so out of it. I've never dealt with somebody that's just so. He'll never go away. 
and he's just so out of it. Because he forgets like, what he did, and like what he said to yeah. you like the day before. So, yeah. The storm would be much more effective if it was Giannetti forcing you to listen to all his raps. Giannetti was a better foe than the storm. Like, I, he was honestly, a, he's less retarded than Shannon. I'll give him that. At least he has an excuse. He smokes crack. Like, what's Shannon's excuse, you know? Shannon O'Laughlin LaBerry. He wants on. Diane can get him. Diane, Diane, oh, Diane, book him. I know Diane. See, Diane, I know Diane's listening. She listens to every show. I know that. She and was on I, the other day. Yeah, he, uh, that might have been a mistake when she commented. And you know what's gay about that is like all those people, like they're all they all watch it still. And like I got no problem with them. They still like it, but they can't comment because they know Brett will be like, "Oh, I dare you!" He'll fucking cry about it. He'll do a fucking two hour long crying episode about, "Oh, you betrayed me!" By oh, 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 oh. you talked in the comments on Red Meat's channel, and that makes me sad and shit. Now I'm gonna cry and do a fucking two hour episode about it. And you know we're a team over here. It's just so fucking gay. Because I know they're in there. They just fear the wrath of Brett, and that's the only reason they don't comment. Gay. Anyway, yeah, Diane never left. Diane's in the. I know Diane's watching right now. They're all watching. Duh. Like Ralph, Diane Ralph's was watching for the longest too. time. <laughs> they're all watching. I, I know they're all watching. I, I there's no fucking doubt. It's just he thought Diane was my wife for so long. I know. <laughs> oh my god. But anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I just wish they would just grow a set of balls and be like, fuck you, Brett. I'll talk on whatever channel I want. But I understand that, you know, you don't want to deal with the wrath of him. It's scary. He might yell at you and call you a fucking half a fag. That would be bad. Okay. Diane is my wife now. I bet she is. <laughs> what is cause, Cherokee? Because clearance is all mine. You don't think about the celeb part. It's been about how cruel she is to him. Your break, your heart breaks for this loyal, kind, honest man. I'm talking about Johnny Depp and stuff. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I don't give a shit about him. <laughs> yeah, fuck him. I mean, he's an asshole too, so they can all get fucked. Hope they're all miserable. Okay, anything else, guys? Sniper on a roof. Sniper on a roof. <laughs> What's this, Mrs. Mastro report? Is that the real Lauren? <laughs> Not the real, because you know Connie said he was gonna marry her, oh, Lauren uh, probably, Laguna. Yes, that's yeah. probably why. Uh, no, no, Lauren Laguna was here a, a while ago. Yeah, everybody say hi to Diane. Say everybody say hi, Diane. We miss you. Come back in the comments, Diane. We miss you. Um. Okay. Brett's tooth says, "Watch your red meat." I'll go live about you for three hours. <laughs> Stop him. Relax. I know that would be, so, you know, and you might get 20 viewers. You might get 20 viewers. Okay. Why does it hurt when I pee? I don't know. See, kill. Where is Pam? M? Pam's around still. I mean, Pam, what? Pam is like doing her own thing, I guess. I don't know. I've heard from yeah. her once in a while. She's cool. Pam Martin. She used to be yeah. a regular on Facebook. Yeah. She used to be in our group, whatever, uh, group chat. She couldn't stand crusty panties or Shannon or any of those nut jobs, but yeah. Lady Gaga. Gaga. Okay. <laughs> I still can't with that. I can't either. I can't either. You guys think the Celtics gonna win tomorrow night? I hope so. I really hope so. We need a we need a complete game from Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown has to play better too. I mean, he's he's good in the fourth quarter when it was too late, but if he's a star, he needs to act like it because what I'm seeing right now is not star play. More southeastern school meetings in the future. I mean, I feel like my work is kind of done there. Uh, I'm kind of tired of the trip to Easton too, but uh, I feel like I've done my job there. I don't know what else there is to do with that. I got the parents to demand. He's he's banned from the graduation, which is great. Um, he can't, you know, we can't force him to step down, and he's never going to. We've made him uncomfortable. We've made our point. We've turned his own school committee against him as we should. So I don't know. Now, Diane never went to the dark side, Cherokee. Diane was betrayed too by the same fucking people we I was betrayed by, but I think this and I know that there's I know they're watching. They're obviously not whatever. They're just afraid. I'm telling you, they're afraid of getting yelled at by, you know, Snaggletooth there. Okay. Anybody else have any questions?
monkeypox. Somebody said there was the first U.S. case of monkeypox confirmed at Mass General. Yeah, Cherokee. It's like it's not even worth following. It's it's all gay. It's childish fucking nonsense. It's stupid. Um, no, I, I don't think she. I mean, I don't know. I I definitely think. I I I think she's definitely afraid. I mean, because she's here. I mean, she doesn't talk, right? No, that's the thing. And I, I honestly think that, like, they don't want to get yelled. Why don't they talk? Like, Ra I know Ralph watches shit. He doesn't. They don't want to get yelled at. That's the bottom line. They're afraid to get yelled at by Brett. They know they will get yelled at. Fact, not opinion. Margaret's still in the comments. Margaret's still in the comments on, on Facebook. Can we get the girls from Everett High? We'll try. I mean, they're fifteen-year-olds. I'm gonna have to say no with that one. I'm gonna say no. He did. Yeah, I saw the I saw the latest Jow video. Um with that i did see that i did see him harassing mayor Wu. yeah if we do it this year it's probably going to be september so i gotta i gotta get a date for that right but some people don't want to deal with them i mean if you recall when we first split i didn't really talk ill of him i talked ill of amanda because i just didn't want to deal with him it's not like you're afraid of him people just don't want to deal with it you know, it's just like, it's like dealing with a chick, like an ultra emotional chick. And people just don't want to deal with that, you know? Any word on that dope last week? Did he uh, come up? What dope? Yeah, which one? Know, I deal with dopes every week. <laughs> which one? What's black eye bigs? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good one. I like that one. That's pretty fucking funny. Okay. Um three oh three. Um Oh yeah, that's what he means, yeah. Dave who? Oh, yeah. is that oh Dave Archbald. Dave. Oh yeah. No, yeah. oh yeah, so I gotta do a blog on him because he's not Well we should you know last night was pretty entertaining <laughs> in the in the halftime show, remember? Um, wait, wait, did, wait, like oh yeah, he head. came on the show, we had a pedophile on last night last during night. the show, we had a legit level three sex offender on the show, and I didn't even know, and he was just like, kind of blew it off, you know, just yelling at us, like, oh, you got, we gotta work together, it's 303, no dude, we don't work with you, you can leave, yeah. So, okay. Anybody else have anything to say? Okay. I guess we'll call it a night then, guys. Uh, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. Don't do a blog. On <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I should have put it up. I know, because it's funny. Because did she really get hit by her boyfriend? Did uh, Stacy, her name's Stacy Barnes. She's like a social worker from Pennsylvania. She used to be a turtle rider. She's yeah, legit legitimately insane. No, she and probably didn't. Just absolutely insane. Uh, but yeah. You can have a pedo on the show and it's fine with YouTube, but you can't say anything. exactly. You can have a level three sex offender come on and like bash his victims. <laughs> like he came on and just like, they're liars. Bro, you're convicted. You're convicted, dude. You know? So anyway, uh, I guess we'll call it a night, guys, uh, and we'll see you guys all on uh, – we'll see Turtle Club people on Friday. Go sign up for that if you haven't already, and then we'll see everybody else on Sunday night at 9 p.m. Peace, Turtle Riders. Good night, everybody.